Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to just selectively color an area in an image. Um, I've had a few people ask me about that. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is make our image black and white. Okay, now there is a number of ways to do this in Photoshop, but um, we're going to do it the, an easy method. We're going to use the adjustment layers, and we're going to go and choose black and white. And the image will go black and white, and then we've got all these different color channels we can adjust. There are a number of presets, and you're welcome to explore those. I'm going to simply do auto and then I might tweak a few things here okay yeah. remember if you would really want to mess around with things really play with it you're welcome to pull things around and really explore and see what happens and I do suggest you do that and then you simply hold the option key down and reset to go back to the default. I want to bump the yellow up a little bit, brighten it some. Uh, when you get it where you like it, just click OK. Right now, since this is a adjustment layer, we do have a layer mask there. Okay, it automatically adds a layer mask, and we can disable this black and white filter in certain areas by painting with black okay so you want to use your brush tool you want to make sure that your foreground color is set to black and then I'd say go ahead and zoom in on the area you want to work with so I'm going to switch over to the move tool or the zoom tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around my son here and zoom in on him He's what I want to colorize. I want to leave all the rest of it black and white. So I'll switch back to my brush, B, on the keyboard. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger, and you can do that on the keyboard by using the right bracket. Left bracket makes it smaller. Right, right bracket makes it larger. And I'll just go ahead and start painting this area with black, and it will begin taking the color back to the way it was, bringing the color back into the image. Okay. Now, you know, out in the middle here I can go pretty quick, but as I get around the edges, I need to zoom in more. Switch my zoom tool. Zoom in more. Switch back to my brush. Much too large. Use my bracket smaller brush and paint in here. Now I am painting, I'm going to right click show you what uh, kind of brush I'm painting with. This is the diameter brush and this is the hardness. You typically want to work with a fairly soft edge brush, okay, so bring this down pretty low. Um, if you have a real hard edge brush you'll get real distinct edges and it's better to have a soft edge. The mistakes don't show as much if you have a soft edge. So click off that and just come in here and work slowly around the edges. I'm going to scroll down. Now you see my hand appearing. I get the hand by pushing down the space bar and then I can just drag around in the image. Okay, work around the elbow. Getting tight again here. A little smaller brush, bracket, keyboards. Hand in the space bar. That looks red in there. Guess my adjustment added way too much red before. And got a little bit more than I want over there. Started picking up some of the ground, so I can switch to white. X on the keyboard swaps my foreground background. I'm just going to go around and get rid of that. Okay. And just continue working around the edge. Oop. When I was working earlier, I pulled in some of that, didn't I? 
still paint with black, clean up that outside. Switch or still paint with white. Switch back to black. We got red. I'm a bigger brush. And I'll zoom out and see how I am. Okay, that's pretty good. A little bit of stuff can be worked on, but not bad. Okay, so that's it. Save your file.